Hey, what's up? This is Marcus. It's day three of Project M60 and uh, last day in the car. Then I'm back in the gym, back in the office tomorrow, so it'll be nice. Uh, just got some hill sprints in. It's kind of nice. Put the kids down. It's about 930. There's a great hill by the hotel. So got eight, eight sets of uh, 60 yards, 65-ish yards. And that was great. That was to complement my morning workout, which was some pull-ups, push-ups, same idea. But one of the points of today is you have to change things up. Your body is designed to adapt to the stresses you give it. So if you find yourself in a rut, chances are you are, whether it's conscious or unconsciously, you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over until your body just says, all right, whatever. And it gets so used to it, you're not going to see any changes in your strength, your performance, your body composition. It's going to be exactly the same. So in today's workout, I incorporated some, uh, some awesome stuff that I learned from Chad Waterbury. He's a fantastic strength coach and just puts so much science behind what he does. And I love that. And what these were was you put in some isometric holds into a ladder. So I'm doing ladder style workouts, you know, anywhere from three reps, five reps, 10 reps, whatever. So we'll just say five, five, four, three, two, one. For every number of reps, I hold that position. So if I'm doing chin ups, I'm squeezing my biceps, I'm squeezing my back, I'm squeezing everything for five seconds and then five reps, four seconds, four reps, three seconds, three, two, two, one. And uh, I do that for the entire, you know, four, five, six sets of that, combining that with push ups. And you'll see in this, I'm, you know, I'm squeezing my hands together, really tensing up the chest, then performing push ups, and then squeezing again for four seconds, four push ups. Three. And uh, the thing is, when you get into the, a lot of the body weight stuff and the calisthenic stuff, it can get boring just doing hundreds of reps and I you know and then you have the repetitive use injuries that you can get from doing thousands of push-ups uh, over you know a few days span so this allows you to get more doing basically the same stuff and doing less of it so not having to do so much and that's the name of the game with project m60 it's about being effective with what you're doing uh, so that was one of the takeaways now the second part of that is the only way you can know if you are in a rut is if you are being able to look at a journal and I know you've heard this a million times and I've said this a million times and everyone in the world of fitness has written this a million times but how many of you are actually keeping a detailed not just worked out today it was great a detailed training journal that is so critical to seeing improvements not to working out you can work out every day of the week and not have to use a training journal that's not it doesn't matter but Keeping the train journal is going to keep you honest and it's going to make sure that you see if you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. And it's really the only way that you're going to be able to break through any plateaus, to break through any ruts and see some real improvements. Oh, so that was, that was it today. Make sure you're tracking. Just remember your body wants to adapt. Don't let it. Keep it guessing. Not to say, you know, muscle confusion because uh, anyway. So, all right, I'm gonna go and uh, maybe go jump in the ocean. It's just it's hot right now. It's hot. Uh, that's pretty much all I got today. So, I'll see you tomorrow.